All right, so I'm gonna let you in on some of my lawn mowing adventures. I love to mow the grass. I don't care if it's pushed. I don't care if it's rod. I'm a terrible weed eater because I waste too much string. But I love mowing the grass. Sometimes there's one kid on the deck. Sometimes there's none. They leave me alone. I'm outside. There's a sound that will drown out everything else. But um, I'm gonna let you look around for a minute. So, as you can see, we have a ton to mow and I've got hills. I've never mowed a hill before and it's a little scary when you're not used to what you're doing. So it's been a learning curve. I mowed the, I guess we have about maybe four acres of grass. I mowed it by hand. I mowed it by hand the first, or you know, push mower the first time and uh, pride was in my way. Oh, I can do it. We can save the money and um, after it took me three days with, you know, juggling the kids and getting a chance to mow and it was time to mow again, we realized maybe not. So we're on this trek to be debt free. And, um, and so I didn't want to spend the money on anything else. And the truth is we had the money and sometimes time is the most valuable resource. And I didn't want to spend all summer mowing the grass while the kids were watching TV. So here is my new baby. There she is in all her glory. I have not named her yet. I'm not sure what she's gonna be, but it was a great experience. Um, I shopped for this over the phone and then um, called my husband, asked what he thought, paid for it online, and then we had to pick it up after hours because Heath does not get off until late. And so the idea of getting it picked up or shopping during business hours never happens. Anyway, I'm hoping this mower holds out. I'll tell you a little secret. I usually mow the grass like this because I am, oh, I'm riding over all these things I should have picked up and I don't have the time to do. And um, I learned to hide my little dark secret by repairing my last lawnmower myself. I could put the belt back on and get the, um, I would knock the deck off my last Toro. And so I've learned how to fix that myself so I wouldn't have to tell my husband I did it again. Um, so anyway, I'm hoping the skag works out really well. <laughs> I'll let you know, I just uh, mowed Beaver Trail uh, Road and uh, didn't get stuck, so that was good. And so far I've learned hills. My husband said you gotta go straight down and back up or straight down, turn around, back up, but you can't take a hill sideways. So anyway, wish me luck. I almost forgot. The best part about mowing is you discover um, wild violet patches. And so I'm gonna take another stab at picking these and making some wild violet syrup. It's supposed to taste like a mix between grape and floral. And um, it's supposed to be really good with fresh fruit. My first batch mostly tasted like flowery sugar. Um, so I'm hoping to get the grapes because I was a little bit short on the violets last time. So. I found several patches mowing. I'm excited about that. I'm gonna get those picked, my little break on my mower. 